All right, my friends, uh, at a secret undisclosed location here in Southern Oregon. And this week, we're gonna talk about something a little bit different. It's not quite ham radio, but it is radio, and it lets us use these totally off grid, this time on K6 UDA radio. Guys, I'm here in wilderness. I'm uh, at a very secret, undisclosed location somewhere in America. I'm actually in Southern Oregon at the BDS Technologies Premier Firearms Training Facility. And uh, I, am, I am blessed enough that the owner um, has let me stay at his private residence and we are going to talk about this today. This is called the Power Talkie, and it is not exactly ham radio, but what it does is it lets us use uh, cell phones totally off grid, and that's kind of really what we are at right now, is totally off grid, um, out in the middle of, literally in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, for, uh, for today's show, we're going to be shooting guns. There's going to be a lot of loud noises. And I'm thinking that uh, at the distances that we're going to be at, which is upwards to a thousand yards away, and, you know, with a lot of earmuffs on, a lot of other stuff going on, loud noises, big pew-pews, um, being able to communicate with each other using this and our cell phones is going to be a whole lot more effective than uh, trying to do it on the ham radio. Let's go check out the range. And we're back. And I'm out, uh, now I'm out at the uh, BDS Technologies 300 yard range. We're doing some rifle work today. And uh, you know what, 300 yards, a little bit far to be talking uh, between the two of us, we can't yell. And with these on, it makes it a little hard to hear the ham radio because, well, it just does. So we're gonna give these guys a try. These are the power talkies. Uh, one for Brian, one for me, and uh, let's give it a shot. The power talkies are sold in a pair. They come in a very nice custom case. Uh, I give the Power Talkie people an A plus uh, for styling. Now inside the case, you're gonna find both Power Talkies uh, in custom uh, foam inserts with the antennas detached. Included in the package, you're gonna get instructions, uh, two USB cords, and uh, these handy little QR codes to download the software onto your phone, whether it's uh, you know a Google, type deal or Apple. At the top of the unit, you're gonna find a power button, SMA antenna connection, and a uh, lanyard type deal uh, to hook this thing onto your backpack or your outer clothing. On the side of the radio, you have an SOS button. Very simple. That is the sum total of the controls. Each radio has its own individual serial number. To get this ready for use, uh, take one of the antennas and screw it on to the SMA connector of the radio. To turn it on, just simply uh, a long press on the top button and that will start the unit. That's about it. Before it's paired with a phone, it'll do a very fast blink and then it'll slow down once it's made connection with a phone. On the bottom of the radio, there's a watertight connection. Uh, revealing both a micro USB and a regular USB cable that you can use actually to charge your phone with. So it kind of doubles as a battery bank. Now the product website claims that this is good for up to 20 miles uh, with a 6,000 milliamp power bank and does all these other things. It uh, then comes back and says long range communications five to eight kilometers 
which isn't quite 20 miles. MSRP on these things is $200 for a pair, uh, which makes it uh, not cheap. And Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> this is my buddy, Brian. Uh, he is the owner of BDS Technologies. We are out at his uh, at the BDS Technologies training facility. This is this place is unreal. I'm going to give you a tour of that in a little bit. But first, uh, he was kind enough to invite me over to his private house, and we're going to play with the power talkies uh, today. And I've got mine kind of charging up. But anyway, first of all. Um, the Power Talkies come in this really cool little case. You get a pair of them. It's uh, It's got, you know, charging cables for both of them. It has instructions. It's got, you know, a little foam cut out in here. Very, very cool as far as that. Pairing these things up, you put an app on your phone. Putting the app on the phone, getting the thing registered, that was no problem. That was pretty easy. Yeah, that was huh? pretty easy. And yeah. you can use, it's got a QR code. Yeah, card so that it gave to us so you can really use your scanner on your phone and, and do that. That now, was no big deal. Now! <laughs> <laughs> then you get into these. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the instructions are almost freaking worthless. Um, it doesn't tell you how to add a friend. I mean, there is like, it says, oh, add the seven digit code for a friend. Unless you go deep, deep into the app and uh and I'll have to kind of do the app by itself. But anyway, um, you've got to go into your your account. And inside of your account, you have your email. And I'll put that up there. you got to go in here, your QR code. And that is your, uh, that is your secret number. And man, for the Power Talkie people, that is really a secret because there's nowhere in the instructions that tell you that how to find that how to find that or it where just that tells is you to, it tells you to enter your code but it, it tells you to enter how yeah. to get it i, I mean it, it, that you also was, have to add your put your phone number in yeah there. i mean that was kind of stupid what about that talk about hunting i mean when you when you talk about using them for hunting you're not going to want to be talking right? you're not going to want to be talking so you could so text you, on those it's pretty silent yeah. hey i got you know this deer at 135 yards yeah instead of trying to communicate being loud, you can just kind of roll over and throw a text on there and send it to your buddy, you know, come in this way or do what you want to do. So for silent communication, um, it would be pretty cool. Yeah, I, I you know what, that very well could be. And so that could be another good use for something like this. Um, and I know it's not ham radio. We get it. So while I'm waiting for Brian to get up to the top of the hill here, he is uh, just at about 300 We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and I'm gonna fire this thing back up. All right, I see you're at 300. Okay, so I could go ahead and send him one. Uh, the biggest problem we're having right now is, I don't know if Bob's getting my, my transmissions. I'm at 300 yards right now, trying these uh, power talkies out. Yeah, that looks like that didn't get to him. It's got a little, uh, a little bad triangle mark here. Like it didn't get to him. I have no messages from you. I just, I sent you one that said copy. I have no other messages. The other two that I sent failed. Should I go to 200? Did you copy them messages? Or, yeah. So they're failing at 300? I sent you copy three times. I'm gonna go to 200. Okay, I've got, uh, I've got little marks, so I don't know if this is actually getting to him now. We'll see. Okay, I got a message back from Brian. So he is copying me. Confirm you are copying this message. So, send him that final message there. And it looks like uh, his app is on, everything is good. So, we'll see. Is this... The end all be all, no, I mean, it's, it's actually easier to, uh, it'd actually be easier to, you know, use a ham radio in most circumstances, but say in this circumstance, uh, either I've got somebody that is not a ham with me, or 
um, like this, I'm in ear protection and it'd be very, very hard for me to hear a radio and to hear radio traffic back and forth. So um, really easy for me just to use something like this, uh, especially in an environment like this where we might have a class going on and, wow, we might have a class going on and there, uh, there could be another part of a class over on one range. We're working on, uh, on the long range and there's gunfire going off. So you can't take the hearing protection off and it would be very, uh, very tough to hear a two-way radio. Okay, the other thing that this has is called an SOS. And I'm gonna press the SOS button and we'll see what the SOS does. Describe the SOS. So, it asked me to describe the SOS. I just hit SOS. It has a button here, but the button did not seem to work. He's sending me an SOS. Did you get an SOS? Yes. So he did send me an SOS. We did confirm that. Here's something it is uh, pressed to talk. So it's a short message service kind of a deal. Um, I guess I could talk into it. It does almost like a voice recording. It sends it off to him and he'll get the, uh, he'll get that voice message. Yell down to him, Bob, did you get that message I just sent? Okay, go ahead and send me something. So we're, we're it looks like we're hitting at 200. Okay, and I'm getting his message. I copy, go ahead. And he said he copied that voice message. He, uh, we gave these things a once over on the 300 yard range. And um, Brian, what did you think? Is this a tool that you think would be, uh, would be handy on a range like this, on a working range with classes and everything going on? I'm not feeling the love on them, Bob. Uh, we did try it 300 and it was very spotty. So we sent probably a half dozen messages a piece and I probably received less than half of those. So we moved to the 200, uh, seemed to be a lot more accurate and uh, pretty much got every message at 200. Um, but if you're gonna use it anything more than 200 yards, then it's not very, very accurate as far as sending the messages uh, consistently. So yeah. I would say- Now it's a, it's... I got your messages at 300. Okay. So I'm wondering, now this thing for whatever reason, wasn't fully charged this morning. I don't know if I forgot and I left it on. When we were doing our test, it was showing uh, kind of, you know, low to medium battery. Okay. So maybe it wasn't putting out full, uh, you know, it's full signal. But I received, I did receive from 300 everything you sent. So we know that All obviously, we, we know obviously that when you send a message, it takes more power than to receive. Well, right? yeah, absolutely. So because you're using the transmitter right. in this now. So maybe that makes sense. So that that could be a reason why you weren't receiving some of my messages. As it long should as you have power. It should it should get it out. It should. There. It was. They advertise 20 miles. I mean, come on. Yeah, up to 20 miles. I I call bullshit. I completely call and, bullshit. And we're line of sight, 300 yards. Yeah. We're not we're not oh, yeah, behind no. trees or nothing. We this are this is line, of, line sight, of sight, 300 yards. So absolutely, these things should be spot on. Spot on. At, At 200, these things were yeah, dead on. Were fine. And uh, other than now, if we got the power levels working, if we if everything was working, what do you think about this? As uh, you know, Brian here is a ham, also. So you know, we could use ham radio. But in a noisy, crowded environment, if we had if we had 25 guys here right, everybody's working talking on the and range, sure, uh, and we've got one guy downrange checking targets, how handy would something like this be as opposed to using a handheld? Well, you know, I think either way, uh, using a handheld would would work if you had an earpiece in, obviously. Yeah. But um, as far as using these, using a system like this. It's not a bad idea. It's quick. It's down and dirty. If you could just talk into it like you were sending the messages, um, you know, it, it works good. However, uh, we have limitations here. We have a 200 yard limitation and that's 200 yards yeah. is, is, is not. 
Maybe if you were using them on a hundred yard only pistol range, but for crying out loud, you could damn near walk the hundred yards. Well, yeah, you can you can yell a hundred yards, but yeah. you know, two to three hundred under noisy conditions gets a little. I mean, out here this was pristine because there was nothing else going on. Yeah, I mean, guys, quiet. there is nothing around here for miles, and yeah. this is totally off grid. There's, uh, I mean, on HF, my friends, this is zero noise land. Uh, there are no power lines. There is nothing anywhere around here anyway brian hey thanks for yeah, uh, thanks for helping pleasure, me out man. thanks for helping to test these things sure. guys i will leave a link uh in the description below if you want to check these things out for yourself uh but that's all i've got this time i'm bob k6 uda this is brian from bds technologies and uh i'm out of here See seven guys. three